All right, Hayes Mega here, and we've got a show and tell video for my old buddy here, the E-Trex 20, all right? So the, uh, the E-Trex 20 is Hayes Mega's very first uh, GPS, all right? Or, or like a hiking GPS, all right? Not my very first, but but the first one I used on a motor for motorcycle stuff, all right? To do like dual sport events and stuff. And Hades Mega still uses it till this day, all right? I mainly use it for dirt biking, all right? Uh, just to just to keep track of how far I've gone, how fast I'm moving, you know, that kind of stuff. And and I use it to record tracks. The number one thing I use it for. All right? And uh so yeah, um and and so I bought a couple um a couple accessories for it or, you know, stuff for it to to keep keep maintaining it, all right? So the first thing I've bought is uh, new batteries. All right, so I got four of them. This this one only takes two. All right, so, but I got these Panasonic Eneloop Pro batteries, the good, the best batteries I can get. All right, so I'll, let me tell you a story. Um, I raced in the Virginia, the 2021 Virginia City Grand Prix. Man, it was like at the tail end of October, and it was really really cold. Okay, um, the. And the problem with uh, when it's really cold, batteries don't perform as good as they normally do um, as when if it's warm, all right? And so I've got these old nickel, nickel metal hydride batteries that have been in the in this GPS for a while, okay? So I usually I'll take them out and I'll charge them in the charger and then I'll put them, pop them back in. That's, that's the nice thing about this charger and it lasts a long time. The good thing about the E-Trex is the battery life is excellent like you'll get like more than like 10 hours if you don't run it with the with the backlight on high or something okay but uh but yeah as of lately i've noticing that yeah, the capacity has been going down the 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 gps has been um not lasting as long all right in the field so that's why i went ahead and bought these new batteries all right i got these from uh from Amazon for $17 with free shipping. I had to ship with a bunch of other stuff, but that's what the batteries look like. Okay, I've never used these batteries before, but I bought the best batteries I can get, all right? So one of some of the features of these batteries are that they have a high power capacity, 2,500 milliamp hours, all right? I think is what it says, yeah, 25 milliamp hours or 2550 excuse me an extra 50 I think the ones that are in here are 2500 also but they're like real they're the batteries are like 10 years old so, so they're like on their way out all right they're not they're not performing as they used to all right they can be recharged up to 500 times let's hope so all right I've got I've probably charged this about 500 times so <laughs> And it maintains 85% of its charge for up to one year, all right? So it has a low self-discharge. That's good because uh, nickel metal hydride batteries normally self-discharge like quite a bit, all right? So, um, and also it is a pre, it's pre-charged using solar power. Ooh, okay. Well, Hayes Mega use it, has a solar powered garage, so I could probably charge these with solar power, all right? And the temperature performance works down to minus four degrees Fahrenheit. That's quite low, all right? So I'm reading it off the website, so <laughs> that's the feature. So. All right, so I will be using these in the GPS. All right, in fact, let's go install them right now. Okay, so I have an extra set, so I will probably, I'll probably, what I'll do is take the extra set with me, so if I do need another set of batteries, I'll have them. I have to get some kind of waterproof case or something for it, though, or I can use it in another device. All right, so let's take these guys out. Might as well install, I'll just take two out. Very nice, though, look at them there. They got this kind of nice black finish to it. It's like a metallic black. All right, it says nickel metal hydride right here. Okay, nickel metal hydride. It says to recycle nickel metal hydride. Um, it's a 1.2 volts and 2,500 milliamp hours. Okay. High capacity, ready to use battery. I don't know. It doesn't see it. So these seem to be the best uh, nickel metal hydride batteries you can buy nowadays. All right, Hades Mega does have a lithium ion AA battery, but I bought them. I bought it for this, and I didn't like it. <laughs> they just suddenly don't work, all right? So those are the batteries that's in it right now. Right, go take these guys out. See, I labeled them GPS too, so so I know these ones are that I use. I know they're good, and I use them in the GPS. <laughs> all right, there we go. So I will be using this for other stuff. 
All right, you're just wondering the battery brand is this Lem Lemnar. Right? I think I bought them at like Fry's Electronics quite a while ago. Okay, now we're just gonna. So these should be pre-charged already. So I think they're they should be fine. I'll put the put the logo outward on one of them. Okay. Whammo! There we go. Let's fire it up. Oh wow, started up pretty fast. Okay, it's at full full uh, backlight right now. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, what happened was uh, there's a little plunger, okay, where your buttons are, and that's what presses the actual buttons that are inside the unit. So, and those like, after a while they deteriorate and they're no good anymore. So Hayes Mega, fixed fixed it by adding erasers i use a eraser as a plunger for the button all right so so i repaired it um however um uh, i've i've wrapped it with silicone tape before you can still see some of it right here and then i put electrical tape on top of it and just like nothing works pretty good all right I, um it's still kind of kind of janky looking so i decided to get this case right here i think one of the drawbacks of the case is that you can't close it very well but Anyway, this has a screen protector, so I'm not going to put this. This came with it, all right? I got this this set for uh, $7.89 with $3.89 uh, shipping to the U.S., about $10, all right, to my door. Not not bad, all right? And it got to me pretty quick, all right? I don't know where it came from. I think it came from China. All right, so we're going to go put this in here. All right, so it's like a little case. And that should help protect the buttons, all right? keep water from coming into the unit it also has I guess that's a speaker down there so it has a cutout for speakers too and it turns your GPS mostly black okay so let's see if it works all right well obviously the joystick still works so like I said I have a screen protector on this this guy already so I I don't know if we'll we can install it I guess but yeah, there's this this guy. Actually, let's take let's. Well, I will open that. Up. I'll open that later. Okay. But uh, let's see if this this thingy works. It looks good. Okay. I'm I'm surprised that it's quality. All right. I think it's like a silicone or something. All right. The buttons work fine. Let's go to map. All right. And then uh, we'll go out. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom in. I might have to make new buttons for this. Go to the menu. Okay map set up okay hit the back button he's when he knows his GPS pretty well hit the power button no GPS okay back button again forward back button power back button okay zoom out zoom in I may have to redo the buttons but there you go it looks very good. What was this? What's this one here? Menu? Oh, I didn't, there's the menu button. Yeah. You can and you can still see, you can still see the writing on it. It says light here, menu, and you see the arrow buttons. You could always just draw. You could also draw it on this too. There also there's the um, it has a up and down here, right? The menu, power. So it has like pretty much all the same buttons. So, so there you go. That that is the um, if you have if you're trying to breathe some more life into your Etrex 20 where your uh, your buttons have deteriorated and you have and you had to repair it like Hades Omega did. I will put a link at the end of this video if you want to find out how Hades Omega did this. Okay, <laughs> um, repaired it um, and then just get this case for it. All right, don't do any janky stuff like put electrical tape or or, uh, or silicone tape around it. All right. Um, I'll probably just leave it in there too. So the question is, can you remove the back with the case on there? Yes, yes you can. It's not very easy, but you kind of have to shoehorn it in there a little bit. Yeah, it's, it is kind of a pain in the ass to put it back on. But, oh, 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 yeah, you gotta make sure it doesn't get caught in there. So make sure you 
pull it out a little bit. That's what I want to say. I would open this up so it doesn't get caught in there. Okay, and then stick it. I had it. What happened? Okay. Yeah, you got to really stick it in there. <sighs> not, not, not very easy, guys. There we go. Close it. Boom. There you go. So you can take the back off with it there, with it on there. Very good. I like it. For for ten dollars to you know breathe a little more life into my Etrex twenty, I have thought about replacing the Etrex twenty with like an Etrex thirty or something, you know something newer. But I I why when my Etrex twenty still works fabulous, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's if uh, if Russia doesn't shoot down the GPS satellites. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there's a and then there's a screen protector. Let's go check it out. It's for the Garmin E-Trex 10, 20, and 30. If you don't know, those uh, those Garmin GPSs are very similar to each other. They just have like different features. The one Hades Omega has is the 20. It's like kind of like the middle of the road version. All right. Okay. There. All right. And then you got your screen protector. It looks like there's more than one. Could be. All right. Cool. Does it have a cutout for the uh, for the button? Not sure. It definitely looks like there's a there's a bunch in there. Holy crap! <laughs> let's take let's take one out. All right, there, but there's a little kit, you know. There's a little kit to install it too. Very nice. I'm gonna take one of them out. Yeah, it does have a has the cutouts for the button. Okay, but uh, eh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stick with this for now. All right, the one that's on there. I think it's a screen armor or something, whatever whatever brand it is. I'll keep this just in case handy. I didn't really buy it for this, but it came with it. I might as well, so keep, keep it around. It may come in handy. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this screen protector. It's still it's still okay, but it's it's a little scratched up now. So okay, so there you go. That is Hades Omega's uh, show and tell of these uh, Etrex 20 accessories, uh, mainly the the battery and this. Uh, this little rubber cover or silicone cover all right I like it I like it a whole lot it's gonna stay on there all right I may have to make the new buttons for it when the when the um, whatchamacallit goes goes bad the uh, the little plungers or the erasers that I put in but uh but yeah if you want to find out how I repaired this uh, check that check that video out I'll put it at the end right now all right here's we go